our community. It's Jen. If you're new, definitely subscribe. This is a beautiful community we're building focused on self-care, productivity, and I share my life living in New York City. So it is 9, 10, and my whole plan for my day changed. So I was going to go to, I have a few free classes for Pevolve because I'm doing some reviews for them on my TikTok and whatnot. I was going to head over there. It's all the way in Soho. So I was like, I'll go there. And then I could try my new co-working space that's in Soho that I'm partnering with for a few months. And that was my whole plan for the day and now I am like not really confirmed to definitely be going there and I'm podcasting at 11 a.m. So I can't take the risk of going to Soho, going to the co-working space and then they're like, sorry, your membership's not active yet. And then like, I missed my podcast. So anyway, I decided I have so much to do today. So I'm gonna go to SLT, which is literally next door. They have a 9.30 class and then I can be back here by 10.30, do my podcast at 11. And then I can always go to the co-working space after that for the rest of the day or go to Ethan's WeWork. But I gotta get out of here because as you saw in my last vlog, that was filmed yesterday and I was here all day. So I gotta get out of here. So I'm gonna get out of here by working out do my podcast here, and then I'm gonna leave for the day. That's the plan, but I got a lot done so far. It's only 9.15. I made the podcast outline for today's episode with Kaylin, who is the founder of Jiggy Puzzles. There are puzzles for mindfulness, they support local artists, and she was on Shark Tank. So that should be a great conversation. I uploaded all of my vlog footage to send over to Amanda Wan, who's an amazing YouTuber who helps me edit my vlogs. Got that over to her. I made some graphics for my podcast Instagram. I think that's it. Oh, and I'm up, I'm trying to download all of Shelby's vlog so I can edit her vlog footage today. So lots going on. Well, let's head over to work out at SLT. If you're ever curious about SLT or like more in depth about any workout class I go to in my vlog, I have reviewed them on TikTok, on Reels, and way more in depth, like a full review, everything you need to know before you go on YouTube. So I will put the SLT one up here. Let's go. Okay, while I'm walking, I just realized that my class sign up did not work. I don't know why, like it literally just didn't go through. And if I go and drop in, I'm gonna have to pay their rate instead of the class pass rate. And why am I gonna spend $40 on a class when I can go to so many others for free? So I'm just gonna do my work at a coffee shop until my podcast. So I can do my podcast at home, but still get out of the apartment and go to Pvolv or another workout that I get for free later, like Rumble or something. Yeah, but at least I got outside. That was exciting. I'm gonna go here just to grab my stuff. All right, that was weird, but at least I got outside for literally a minute and a half. I like noticed as I was on my way out that the booking reservation didn't work, but I just had the thought like, oh, I'll just run in. I have an account there. I'll pay right after class. Like it'll be fine. But then I realized a class is $42 and like, it's just dumb. Like I get so many classes for free. I get SLT for way cheaper on class pass. We don't need to do this, but I do need to get out of the apartment. But another good money decision is I'm gonna make breakfast first. Things are chaotic today, but it's okay. I'm gonna make breakfast, go next door for an hour, focus on editing Shelby's video in a new location, not here, come back and podcast, and then I will go to Ethan's WeWork for the day and work out. Maybe I'll work out in the afternoon. I don't know, but we're gonna work out for free, okay? What a weird day. Weird day, but I can't help but be grateful for being able to have a different day every day and actually actually make my own schedule, so I can't complain. It's exciting, you never know what's gonna happen. My jacket is so heavy that the hanger broke and I'm just pretending it didn't. Okay, what can we make that's like filling? I don't have any milk, so it's not gonna be a smoothie. It's gonna be eggs. Let's make some eggs. I'm like on one today, maybe I'll buy lunch. Apartment again. I have my eggs. Now we're going literally next door to a coffee shop for 45 minutes. Cause I just, I can't sit in there anymore. I got a podcast in there. Can I please do a cold brew with oat milk? Sure. Thank you. Yeah. back 
Honestly, that felt like I was there for 20 minutes, but I got some stuff done. It is what it is. I'm very happy I got out of there and I wasn't just sitting on my couch this whole time. I had two sips of the cold brew because I feel like I'm heavily caffeinated and I probably should have gotten something a little less caffeinated. The more I get into the work day and realize how much I have to do, I'm realizing how hard it's gonna be to get myself to go to a workout class because I just have so much editing to do, which takes hours, but I really want to be able to do it. So I'm hoping even if it's like 5.30 or 4.30, I can get to a workout. I'm really hoping. Maybe I'll do Y7, hot yoga, because I can drop in there for free. Because we partner with them at Rumble. Maybe that'll be the move. That's a little easier to get to at the end of the day, in my opinion, because like it's a dark room. It's kind of relaxing, even though it's really hard. It's easier to get yourself there. And I could really use a stretch like that. I wanted a low impact. I wanted like P-ball because it's focuses on less pain. I wanted something like that. So hopefully we can make it to P-Valve or Y7 or something. Setting up for the podcast, by the way. Doing 12 things at once. I genuinely love how different every day is. Like I do the same buckets of things, but I love that my schedule looks different every day. Like it keeps life exciting. I'm into it. Most people like more, I like structure and like, st I like stability. I don't need as much like the exact routine routine every day. I think that I get, that gets boring for me. Really getting the podcast set up down. Like this took me very quick to do. So basically what I do, I have this outline that I sent to them. I really try to just go with however the conversation is going to flow. I don't like to stare at this. I really just use it for myself to know what I'm going to talk about ahead of time just to like brainstorm ideas to help me with the flow of the conversation. And then if it is for some reason like a conversation where I'm, my head's just not there, I don't know what to talk about next. It's almost like my safety blanket in the corner here. So that's half the screen. And then the other half is Zencaster. And something I've been loving doing because it's not a video podcast, I don't really have to worry about how I look. What I like to do, it'll show me here now, but what I like to do is once I do this and someone else is here and I like minimize it and have half the screen the outline, half the screen this, my image will go in the corner and I won't be able to see it. So all I will see is exactly what you're seeing now, but it's the other person. And I find that it really helps me to just be completely present in the conversation, not looking at how I look, or anything like that because even the social promo graphics I make, like I'm barely in them. It really doesn't matter. If I look that bad or this lighting like makes a weird shadow on me, I just, I don't have to post a graphic of me. I could just leave it as just the guest. So I find that it makes for better conversation just to not be focused on myself. Testing, testing. Hi, Kaylin, welcome to the podcast. I'm so excited. I just have to say I'm obsessed with your puzzles and I love the mission behind it and everything. So I'm excited to just dive into all of that. But first we have to get your top self-care tip that has played a role in your success. Let's hear it. I am so excited about this season of the podcast. Like every conversation has been so good, so niche. Like I feel like sometimes you have to have on influencers and I mean, everyone's really an influencer, but like you have to have on people that maybe don't have like a message, if that makes sense. Like I had a fashion blogger on, like my podcast is about self care, but like you have a huge audience and I want your community to find me. So maybe I'll have you on, but sometimes it just feels, I don't know, less focused. I've been loving how niche these conversations are. I've had one on travel. I've had one on wellness and starting a fitness studio. If this one was about puzzling a self-care, like I just, I'm living for it. I'm living for season two. Go binge season one. Season two will probably be out by the time this fall comes out because it's coming out on Tuesday. That one will be about dating and relationships. I'm excited for that one. It's 11.50. I'm going to give myself 10 minutes to like wrap things up here and then go to the WeWork or something. I had this idea of starting like a trailer of some sorts, like my fun fact and favorites at the end of every episode is always like, when do you feel your happiest? What would be your last meal on earth? Like they're always the same questions the last few. So I like to make the first ones a little more specific. So I kind of want to make a compilation of like the best answers. Like what would be your last meal on earth? And it's like everyone talking about their favorite food or like, when do you feel your happiest? And that would be like a compilation of that. I really like that. I have to write that idea down. I'm gonna voice note myself. I kind of want to make an Instagram reel that is a compilation of, you know, at the end of every podcast episode, I ask, when do you feel your happiest? I would love to do an Instagram reel of like a bunch of people's answers to that question. I sent it to Camilla, my queen. 
who helps me with my podcast. She helps me edit my podcast and I'm curious if she can help me make a reel for that. Or Tuesday, I think that'd be so cool to like wrap up season one. All right, let's wrap things up here. I'm so overwhelmed, but it's okay. Oh, I have to record an intro to, for Tuesday. Yeah. All right, we're getting out of here. I turned the lights off. Ethan has chargers at his WeWork, so I'm just, I don't even need anything. I just gotta dress warm, put my laptop away, and get the hell out of this apartment. I'm thinking I'm gonna do hot yoga later. I think what's really stressing me out is that I made plans to hang out with a friend tonight, and sometimes I'm comforted by the fact that, like, I, if I need to, I'll finish editing at 7 p.m., and it's fine, or I'll go hot yoga 6.30, and I'll work late tonight, it's fine, while I'm watching TV, but, like, I made plans. <laughs> Video is taking longer to edit than expected. I don't think we're working out today. Sun is setting. Thumbs up, my butt goes out. And all you know. All right, it's a late working night. It's six o'clock. Did not get to work out today, but it's okay. My manager at Rumble's birthday tomorrow, so I have to go to the 12 o'clock Rumble class for her birthday, so I know I'll get like an intense workout in tomorrow. It is what it is. But I did tell my friend I would come over for dinner at 6.45, because I thought I was gonna get to do a 5.30 workout, which if we're honest, I probably could have made it, but I'm tired and I'd rather just be productive. This is why it's best to work out in the morning, but it's okay. It really just changed my, changes my whole day so I need to start prioritizing it in terms of like let's schedule it I always like I wake up I'm like oh maybe I'll take that 8 10 class and then either it's booked or I just prioritize my morning routine and like push it off I need to start prioritizing like this is the time I'm going everything else needs to work around it so that's a goal for after Colorado because I'm already leaving for Colorado on Tuesday a workout plan for tomorrow so that's a goal for another time but since I have a half hour to like to go to my friends I'm trying to get this video up for tomorrow, which will be the podcast to listen to if you want to blow up your YouTube channel. Be quiet because I'm in a WeWork. I finished the video already, so now I'm just making a thumbnail and might as well because I'd rather tomorrow, tomorrow I have a lot going on. I have like doctor's appointments, I have that class at Rumble. I'm going bright, just made dress shopping tomorrow for one of my best friends and I have to somehow do PR work so I won't be getting to any YouTube work tomorrow so I'm trying to just schedule it to upload now since I have the time. I'm very motivated today to do a lot of like computer and editing work until late. Honestly, if I didn't, if I wasn't going to my friends, I'd probably go home and eat and then keep working. So this video had done really well on my channel and I kind of want to mimic this style where I have like the podcast logos in the background and then my face with AirPods. So that's what those pictures were. Um, I did another one that went really well like that. Yeah, this one has 20K views. Yeah, like I'm giving a reaction while listening and then there's the logos behind me. It's got 19K views, so that is why I made faces like that to do. So I'm gonna cut out the background and make the background the logos instead. And then like these podcasts will blow your channel up or something, something like that. We'll see, I'll show you the final product. Got them all. <sighs> okay, it's not complete yet. Oh, I just dropped my computer. Anyone else do that like way too often? I'm a mess. I've worked too hard today and have not worked out. At least I meditated this morning, but I didn't get enough me time, but I'm gonna go hang out with one of my really close friends who I don't see that often, so that'll be my me time. It's time to get off the screens. And in winter New York, you gotta put sweatpants over your leggings. Gotta layer. Okay. That's the end of my night. I'm gonna go have dinner with my friend. I always forget to vlog because I'm just like very present because I'm on social media all day. So I don't really vlog during the nights like this, but don't forget to subscribe. Sorry, I'm in an office, but please subscribe if you're new. If you made it until the end of this video, comment down below your favorite dessert. And I will see you guys next week. Give this video a thumbs up, please. Bye.